Hi, this lesson is about reflexive verbs. Hola, esta lección es sobre los verbos reflexivos. Hi, welcome to Spanish for London. I am Laura and today we will study reflexive verbs. This is very simple, but it's something that you don't have in English. We will compare two verbs. A normal verb, so verbs that you know, uh, which are non-reflexive verbs, and the new category, which are reflexive verbs. Let's have a look at a non-reflexive verb, or a normal verb. When you have a verb like caminar, to walk, hablar, to speak, dormir, to sleep, any other verb, we say, as you know, yo camino, tú caminas, etc. So, I walk, yo camino, you walk, tú caminas, etc. Now, when we have a reflexive verb, which is the new category that we will study today, for example, bañarse, which is to bathe, we say, yo me baño, I bathe, tú te bañas, you bathe, él o ella o usted se baña, he, she bathe, or you formal bathe. Nosotros o nosotras nos bañamos, we bathe. Vosotros o vosotras os bañáis, you all or you both bathe. Ellos, ellas o ustedes se bañan, they or you formal plural bathe. So as you can see, the difference is here because you add an additional word, an additional pronoun. This set of uh, words, me, te, se, nos, os, se, are called, sorry, are called, me, te, se, nos, os, se, reflexive pronouns. And they are mandatory with reflexive verbs. So, Every time that you are using a reflexive verb, you have to put these pronouns because they are mandatory, son obligatorios, okay? This word, this personal pronoun, is the object of the action. That's why I put here objeto obligatorio. Why? Because when I say yo me baño, what I'm saying is I bathe myself. So the person who is bathed by me is me. <laughs> That's why we say reflexive verbs, because it's like a reflection in a mirror. The person who is performing the verbal action is the same person receiving the verbal action. There is a reflection. That's why they are reflexive verbs. So, as you can see, these verbs are not difficult. And these words, mete, se, nos, o se, these personal pronouns, stand for myself, yourself, himself, or him, her, herself, ourselves, yourselves, or themselves. Okay, let's continue. ¿Qué es un verbo reflexivo? So, what is a reflexive verb? Let's see the features of these verbs. Un verbo reflexivo es un verbo que expresa una acción física y voluntaria. So, a reflexive verb expresses a physical and voluntary action. Always. Siempre. Por ejemplo, bañarse. Do you see to bathe? You do something voluntarily. At least some people do this voluntarily. And it's a physical action. You do this with your own body. Then, un verbo reflexivo es un verbo que siempre lleva el pronombre reflexivo funcionando como tal. So, it's a verb which always takes the reflexive pronoun working as a reflexive pronoun. Then I will teach you the difference because sometimes in some others verbs, in some other groups of verbs, you will see the same pronouns working in a different way. But this is not your problem for today. Okay, and the third feature is that el sujeto refleja al objeto gramatical. So, the subject reflects the object, as I told you before. So, yo me baño, I bathe myself. 
tú te bañas, you bathe yourself, etc. Ok, now, take a look at this, because this is another thing which is very, very clear if you understand the difference. When I have the verb bañar, this is to bathe, and bañarse is to bathe yourself. So this is a big difference because when I use bañar, this is a non-reflexive verb. For example, yo baño a mi perro, I bathe my dog. In this case, I, yo, the subject, is not reflecting the object because the object is not me, it's my dog. So the subject and the object are different. That's why the verb is bañar, non-reflexive. But the same verb in yo me baño, I bathe myself, is reflexive because I bathe myself. The subject and the object are the same. And in this case, the verb is bañarse reflexive. Notice that in the infinitive form, a non-reflexive verb, as you know, ends always, always with ar, er, or ir. But when the verb is reflexive, we add the pronoun, the se form, which is precisely the pronoun. So we don't say bañar for the reflexive verb, but bañarse. Okay, let's continue. So as you can see here, is yo me baño a mí mismo, a mí mismo meaning again, to myself, or if I am a woman, a mí misma. Tú te bañas a ti mismo, to yourself, or if you are a woman, a ti misma. Él, ella o usted se baña a sí mismo o a sí misma. Nosotros o nosotras nos bañamos a nosotros o a nosotras mismos o mismas, masculino o femenino. Vosotros o vosotras os bañáis a vosotros o vosotras mismos o mismas. And then, ellos, ellas o ustedes se bañan a sí mismos o a sí mismas. Ok, this is a reflexive reinforcement, refuerzo reflexivo, but this is not mandatory. The personal pronoun is mandatory. So you cannot conjugate a reflexive verb without these pronouns. Ok, now, here you have your set of pronouns, metese, nos, o se. You have to add this between the mm, subject and the verb. So, yo me baño. Ok, now the vocab, because all my examples were with the same verb, bañarse but there are more verbs in this group. So let's see the most important reflexive verbs. Remember what I said before. Reflexive verbs are verbs expressing a voluntary and physical action. So let's say which are the reflexive verbs. Acostarse, to go to bed. Levantarse, to get up. Despertarse, to wake up, afeitarse o rasurarse, to shave, or depilarse, to wax, pararse, to stand up, sentarse, to sit, agacharse, to crouch, arrodillarse, to kneel, bañarse, to take a bath, or ducharse, to take a shower, mojarse, to get wet, enjuagarse, to rinse yourself, Secarse to dry yourself. Remember always when you have a reflexive verb, you are the object of the action. Me, you, he, she is the um, uh, subject of the action and at the same time the object of the action. Cepillarse to brush. For example, I brush my teeth. Me cepillo los dientes. I brush my hair. Me cepillo el pelo. Peinarse, to comb. Maquillarse o pintarse, to make up or to paint yourself. Vestirse y desvestirse, to dress and to undress. Calzarse y descalzarse, to put on your shoes or to take uh, off your shoes. 
ponerse y sacarse o quitarse to put on the cloth to take off the cloth so me pongo la chaqueta I put on the jacket me saco o me quito la chaqueta I take off the jacket relajarse to relax estirarse to stretch ok, these are the most important reflexive verbs do you see all the time talking about a voluntary and physical action all the time you are doing something on your own body and all the time you put the C in the infinitive form parar C, agachar C and so on and all the time when you conjugate the verb you put the me, te, se, nos, o, se, pronoun. ok now we have also a very Mm, restricted group of verbs which are also reflexive verbs these are called reciprocos because you reciprocate the action is mutual for example verse when you you see a person and the person sees you so they see each other okay se ven they see each other or se odian they hate each other o se abrazan they embrace each other o se pelean they argue is mutual, o se casan, they get married, o se divorcian, they divorce. All these verbs are also reflexive verbs. Eh? For example, another one, nos conocemos desde hace un año, we have known each other for one year. Eh? I know him and he knows me, so it's um, mutual. Okay. Now, remember also that when you have a reflexive verb, in the infinitive we say bañarse. But if I want to say I am going to bathe myself, for example, in the sea, I have to say bañarme because it's to bathe myself. Voy a bañarme en el mar. But if you are going to bathe yourself, vas a bañarte en el mar. If he or she is going to bathe himself or herself, va a bañarse en el mar. We are going to bathe ourselves. Vamos a bañarnos en el mar. You in the plural, vais a bañaros en el mar, and they are going to bathe themselves, van a bañarse en el mar. Do you see? So remember to change according to the person involved in the verbal action with these verbs. Well, now, remember that you have to translate at some point. So when you translate, uh, something very simple like I put on the shirt you have to consider the difference in the structure so when I say I put on the shirt in Spanish I translate this as me pongo la camisa because to put on the shirt the jacket is ponerse it's a reflexive verb so I have to put the pronoun which as I told you is mandatory but when you translate this into English I don't have anything here. I don't have the equivalent to me. So remember that in translation, you don't find this in English. So when translating the pronoun, me, te, se, nos, o, se, is not here in English. This I is yo, but I don't say yo me pongo la camisa in Spanish because the yo is not mandatory in Spanish. So it's the other way around. We don't put the me here because the me doesn't exist here in English. And I don't put the I here because we don't need to say yo me pongo la camisa. And it's more frequent in Spanish to say simply me pongo la camisa. Okay. Now, another thing. When I say, for example, I wash my face, or I brush my teeth, or I brush my hair, I put the my here. But when I translate, I wash my face into Spanish, I say me lavo la cara. Don't say me lavo mi cara. This is incorrect, because the me indicates 
that you are doing something on yourself. So you don't need to duplicate the information, to double the information putting me here. So the correct form in Spanish is me lavo la cara. So I wash my hands es me lavo las manos, no me lavo mis manos. I brush my teeth es me cepillo los dientes, no me cepillo mis dientes. Okay? Don't say then me, me, with reflexive verbs, is me lavo la cara, me cepillo los dientes, me cepillo el pelo, etc. Ok. And now, misconceptions. Not all the verbs taking the reflexive pronouns are reflexive verbs. You will study the rest in our class, which is about quasi-reflexive verbs, and this class is in your list of topics in our course in intermediate level. So remember, if you study these verbs at school and somebody tells you that all the verbs with the C following the infinitive, like bañarse, peinarse, cepillar se are reflexive verbs this is not correct only the verbs which these specifications are reflexive verbs there is another group of verbs which are called quasi reflexive verbs almost reflexive which also have the me, te, se, no, so, se, pronoun, but in that case is not working as a reflexive pronoun and this makes a big difference. It's not difficult, but if you put all in the same bag, as we say in Spanish, todo en la misma bolsa, all in the same bags, so if you mix reflexive and quasi-reflexive verbs, you will be talking incorrectly. As a result, you will commit a lot of mistakes. So wait and we will study the rest of the verbs which have the, the same pronoun but they are not reflexive. Okay. And that's the end of the lesson. Now you know your reflexive verbs. Remember to practice. Remember that you have the list of reflexive verbs uh, in our, uh, our list of uh, vocabulary. Remember that I left lists of regular verbs, irregular verbs, in the present, in the past, uh, reflexive verb, non-reflexive verbs, everything. You have everything in order to practice. And as I told you, um, in other classes, remember to put your list in some place and check the list frequently, um, checking not only the vocab, okay, pararse, to stand up, sentarse, to sit, now conjugate, okay, pararse, to stand up, me paro, te para, se para, nos paramos, os parais, se paran, practice and practice. Okay, that's the end of the lesson, see you next class. Este es el final de la lección, nos vemos la próxima. Chau, chau, adiós.